Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Poots Garage. Uh, today, we are installing these night drive headlights on the C5 Corvette. We've also been making a lot of good progress on the set of axles that are going under this square body Chevy. So if you're into that type of stuff also, please subscribe, watch my videos. I need all the help we can get. We've also been making some slow improvements to the shop itself. Things like getting this uh, cabinet installed and uh, mounting a TV up in the corner so I can watch my YouTube while I work. So check that out real quick. too deep into this. I gotta get in the camera frame. Jesus, I messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> hey, I'll do it. So, I've been playing a lot with sound and uh, video quality and different things, so uh, I've been do using my iPhone 10R, XR, whatever you want to call it, for the last, I don't know what it's been, like a year now, just because it's been so much easier to use and upload. Uh, you know, I can, I can do the video and I can edit right off the phone, but Recently, I'm finally getting back onto my computer in the house. I got that set up again, so I'm using my Canon G7X again here. So hopefully sound and video are going to be good. Uh, I did use an external microphone with this thing uh, recently. It, it seems to work okay, but I don't think there's any external mic I can use on this camera. I don't think they have that capability at all. So. Um, Hopefully the sound is still going to be decent, uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so let's try and keep this video simple. I don't want to give you a long drawn out uh, install video because those don't seem to be working out too good for me. But what we get in the kit real quick is obviously two sets of headlights, a bunch of stuff, just like that. Uh, this is a relay kit that comes with it. Uh, I believe, if I remember right, this is the relay kit that allows you to run your high and your low beams at the same time. And this is an optional thing I ordered. It's like an extra 11 bucks, so why not? This, uh, since these headlights do funky things, they run a lot of low voltage stuff for sensing when to open and close and different types of things. This allows you to be able to close them immediately, where otherwise, because of them being LEDs and everything, uh, it kind of screws up the system and otherwise you would have to turn it on to a high beam uh, turn your high beams on and then turn the lights off to get the doors to close so this allows you to just they run normally basically you can turn the lights off whenever doors close whenever so i almost feel like this should just be included in the kit anyways but it's all good and then obviously a little hardware kit uh 
These here are the new stops since the headlights only come up about halfway, which you'll see in a little bit. And I guess the last thing would be just a couple little plastic deals. I also want to mention uh, what this guy is doing, Night Drive TV, uh, is pretty cool. Uh, he's building all of these uh, basically from his house in his garage. He's building kind of like a Corvette C5 Empire on his own basically and it's it's kind of inspiring in a way because it kind of makes you understand that anybody can do this stuff anybody can manufacture a part if you really want to if you really put your put your time and money into it and then money is obviously an issue but you don't have to have you know millions of dollars to be able to start up a small business you can start with just manufacturing one small product that everybody wants that everybody's always talked about but nobody makes that's what basically Night Drive TV did now if you do a close-up look at these, I don't know if you can tell in the video, camera's not focusing in very well. These are all 3D printed. The uh, brackets are all 3D printed. Uh, the lights, I know he's had some issues with lights and trying to find a supplier that basically does what he wants. And so he's gotten this thing all ironed out and he's had a lot of trials and tribulations. So if you like watching somebody try and do this type of stuff and uh, showing you the goods and the bads of it all. Follow his channel, Night Drive TV. Uh, he's real good about explaining things. Might be a little drawn on at, at times, but he's got some pretty good content on different things. And he's also coming out with a lot of other products that a lot of people want on these cars that nobody else makes. So he's a pretty smart guy. I like what he does. And uh, go ahead and follow and subscribe to him if you can. And what we're gonna be doing to install these is actually following his instructional video, which is on YouTube, which it's kind of a reason I wanted to get this TV mounted up in my garage so I can do things like this also. So I'll be playing his video as I put him in, uh, just so I can follow it step by step. He's got a really good install video, breaks it down real good, uh, lots of information, very informative. It is very handy. I know I kind of bagged on Banks Power for uh, making me use a QR code to go look up instructions, but this kit kind of needs a video because there's a lot of weird little things you have to do and for him to explain it on a video is a, is a lot better. Right now we got a headlight wired up. We got some stuff installed. The light's not completely mounted, but we are not focusing in very well. Uh, we need to test this thing before uh, obviously we finish it up. So let's turn it on and see if these lights are working. All right, we've got the battery plugged back on. Plugged in, reconnected, however you want to say it. All right, let's try parking lights again. One click. Ooh, I see lights in there, that's a good sign. So with just these parking lights on, which is the corner markers on these, the headlights don't pop up. But we do have halos. If you can tell, it's probably kind of bright there. It's actually just the halo lit up, just the, the outer ring around each of them. So that is working properly. Let's try Regular lights. I don't have a relay hooked up. I think that's why the lights haven't popped up yet. So we go like this. Okay. So you can see this headlight came up more than that one. That one barely popped up. Old school headlight on. And now we have 
something wrong. We have just one halo on. That's interesting. And just for fun, let's try high beams. High beams are on, and we have high beams on the old school. And something is definitely off there. Oh, I know why, because the relay is not on. The only problem I have is only the halos are working, not the normal headlights. All right, we got that figured out. So what we have to do for the instructions is if you're, yeah, this thing takes a while to focus in here. Uh, if your lights aren't working properly, you actually have to flip these connectors. So you pull, not switch them, but you just pull it out, turn it 180 degrees and stick it back in. So you can see they don't have the locking feature right now. Now you can repin them if you want, or you can just do that and just leave it. I might even put just a zip tie around it to retain it. Just for, uh, cause I don't feel like repinning everything. But uh, I guess that's kind of a normal thing on these installs. Uh, the way GM was doing things, I guess they were going back and forth on it and their wiring wasn't very good. So it's actually in the instructions. If this is the issue, it's not working right, start flipping connectors. And I ended up having to flip both of those connectors. So we got everything working though. So check it out. First we'll do parking. So with the parking lights, we have that, and we have that, and we have, it's probably hard to tell, let me grab a tint real quick, see if this works. So I can tell they're on, but in the camera it's all washed out, so let's try it, there you go. Put a pair of sunglasses over it and it works pretty good, so you can see just the halos are lit up. Okay, kind of worked good there for a second, didn't it? Now let's go to low beam. You can see our, our lights come up there. We got low beam on the old one. And now we got the two lights lit up. Let's put the sunglasses back on. You can see the two lights on the outers are lit up and then the inner is not. And then let's do a high beam. can see this high beam is on now and those two outers have now turned off and just the inner is on okay and that's what it's supposed to do now when we put the relay in it should uh, it'll turn all three on at once on high beam and it'll be just the two on the low beam so everything is working perfect right now and there we go we're all done now these things are awesome on the street. I've taken it, uh, drove it around a little bit and uh, went out and adjusted them and stuff like that. And uh, they do great. My only complaint, and it seems like with my searches on Facebook, and uh, don't get me wrong, I don't hate these things or nothing, but uh, one function that I can't do with these that I'm supposed to be able to, in a way, is when you saw earlier in the install we had the halos working. I'm supposed to be able to have just the six halos on and, uh, and, and that's it. So driving around, you know, during the day you can have just the halos on and it looks cool having these little squares. Problem is, I can't do that on this car for some reason. Uh, what you're supposed to be able to do, because most people, uh, you have to, when you turn the lights on, in order to get the headlights to go back down, you actually have to put them in a high beam and then flip them off. Now, I can't do that. Uh, for some reason, my car works normal, no matter where I'm at. Low beam, high beam, car running, car off. If I turn the lights off, then the headlights drop. So what most people do to get, well, what people do to get the square halos to work is when you're driving, you flip the lights on, and then you come back to parking position, and the halos stay on because of the parking lights, and then the headlight motors won't drop because, well, technically it's just confused and malfunctioning. For some reason, my car works perfectly. I'm the only person in the world that my car actually works with these uh, headlights like that. So I'm, I'm really confused and I don't know how to explain it very well. It might be because I have a aftermarket headlight control motor in there, a control module. So maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe it's the aftermarket headlight motor I put in there is adding some extra resistance to the system and it's actually operating normal with LEDs. So other than that, I love it. Uh, it's working great. So this is where we're signing off.